the government has announced that it will impose strict penalties on businesses engaging in unfair practices such as profiteering, manipulating the ZIG currency, and other forms of unfair trade practices. This declaration comes amid reports of some shops and manufacturers using the unofficial exchange rate in their operations, with others deliberately resisting the use of the ZIG in preference for the US dollar. Businesses have been citing malfunctioning swipe machines and mobile network breakdowns as justification for their actions, during a post-cabinet media briefing held in Harare on Tuesday, the Minister of Information, Publicity, and Broadcasting Services, Jen Fan Musware said, penalties are being enforced against all perpetrators of unjust price hikes. Manipulation of the ZIG currency, smuggling, and all forms of unfair trade practices, the government is going to review the fines from a minimum of 200 US dollar level 5 to a maximum of 5000 US dollar level 14 or the ZIG equivalent for the various offenses, licenses will be rationalized and consolidated to be obtained in one office as a measure to enhance efficiency. Musware also said the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, RBZ, will take measures to promote the uptake of plastic money. He said, in order to promote the uptake of plastic money, the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe will strengthen the mandatory licensing requirements for all business operators to have a bank account and point of sale POS, machine under the Shop and Shop Licensing Act, and deploy inspectors to curb misdemeanors that militate against price stability and availability of basic commodities, the government of Zimbabwe, going forward, will increase border patrols, increase the number of inspectors and implement whole-of-government approach to deal with the menace at border posts. A spokesperson for the Ministry of Finance, Economic Development and Investment Promotion told Bloomberg that the minister, Tholim Kyub, may make an announcement next week.